And underway here at the Fog, Dan Schulman, Jay Billis, Jess Sims, Texas, and Kansas. With Kansas 8-5 in the league, unbeaten at home this year, 13-0. Texas 6-7 in the league. He did play last Saturday in Kansas's last game, but the knee injury, it keeps popping up, Jay. He's now missed four of the last seven games. Nick Timberlake gets the start against a ranked team for the 10th time this season. Kansas has played nine as well, but Texas not ranked. There's a block by DeSue, and here comes Aismas in transition. Crowd wanted to travel, but it looked like Horton kept that foot down. And now a great cut by Aismas. Just a beautiful cut right down the center pipe. You know, this is completely brand new. I mean, he's most outstanding player of the Big 12 tournament last year. K.J. Adams, one of his favorite spots, and he ties it up. The loss of McCullough will deplete the Kansas depth even further. Bill Self incredibly reliant on his starters. Hunter Dickinson among them. Johnny Furphy, when he comes in from the wing, just crashes, and you have got to lay a body on him. He has really matured into an excellent rebounder. Oh, they kind of, they left Harris. They played him for the pass. And Dewan Harris, one of the best defenders in the country, but just gave a little shake move. Well, I'm sure it does concern him and his staff, but I, I think a little bit earlier this season, Phil Self took his big four aside and said, what is our identity? You know, do we have one yet? He was pressing up against Furphy. He's an excellent defender. and got burned there. And he, Furphy just snuck behind him, cut to the basket, and dunked it. The left side of the floor on this drive by Lamarco Jackson. Kendall Weaver just caught, got caught ball watching. You know, what about Johnny Furphy surprised him? And he said, his shooting. <laughs> and it, it, I was thinking, geez, I always thought he could shoot it. Terrific fade screen there that got Nick Timberlake open. And when he starts scoring, look at this little fade screen on the left side of the floor. Hunter Dickinson steps up, the ball comes back, and Dylan DeSue has to go over the top, got caught up, and Caden Shedrick couldn't get out there in time. And Nick Timberlake is a deceptive athlete. He, he's athletic. And you mentioned him at Towson. He made 100 threes last year. He can really shoot. He just hasn't shot it as well this year for some reason. Double team on Dickinson doesn't matter. Kansas by eight. You just can't let him get. There's Dickinson. When he, if you're going to try to just stay between him. 59% so far in the game. Mitchell a little too much English off the glass, but now he runs down the loose ball. Hunter. Dickinson got a piece of it. DeSue lost it. Kansas in transition. Harris. Oh! Timberlake! Well, I think I had said it was deceptive athleticism. But the cat's out of the bag now. He's not going to deceive anyone. What a spectacular play by Nicholas Timberlake. And did it through contact, too. Well, Adams had two cutters when he caught that ball in the middle of the lane. Wow, wow. that has somehow that went in as Hunter finds Mitchell. Triple handoff, but instead cut to the basket. And look at that, right, right behind him. And Dylan Mitchell left-handed, able to just flick that into the basket. He's a really good player. Shouldn't that make you feel old more than me? Since well, you you're older him? than I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no matter if you count my age in American or Canadian years, you're older than me both ways. What a block by Parker Brown. Who said that Kansas doesn't have a bench? Parker Brown gets the block. Furphy finds Parker Brown. Oh! Counted and won! McDowell had it, but lost it. And here comes Horton. Mitchell moving well, and he'll slam it. Good transition offense for the Longhorns. Averaging 10.5 points, 8.5 rebounds per game this season. Adams, the hook shot! The Big 12 in field goal percentage at 61%, and it's for a reason. That's the fourth made three by Texas. Kansas only has one, but they're up by 16. Oh, behind the back, El Marco Jackson. Of Hunter Dickinson. Watch this pass. That is a needle threaded behind the back. I'm not sure whether that's gutsy or reckless, but it got through. <laughs> when it works, it's gutsy. You're darn right. <laughs> 
that pushing him away from the rim, making him take a turnaround jumper instead of going to the rim. It's Timberlake to a wide open Harris. Now into Dickinson, the spin and the 10 footer goes. It's about the soft touch of Hunter Dickinson. And just able to get the ball at the free throw line, that little spin. Stolen away by Mitchell, and he is in all alone. He has been on a tear. I think we mentioned his last four games. 23 points a game, 57% from three. Shedrick all alone. A nice find from Hunter. Well, he's being treated as a no closeout guy. Kansas is not helping off of Max Asmus at all. Boy, how about that physical battle? And there is Dickinson spinning to his right hand. You're trying to take away that right shoulder, and he just goes. Timberlake back to Dickinson. And around and off the glass it goes. Another two for the potential All-American and Hunter Dickinson. And on this little handoff action, just slips right out of it. Just an easy drive into the middle, and Kansas has been owning the paint. K.J. Adams. And Rodney Terry calls timeout. In transition, and nobody better at that long pass than Dewan Harris playing ahead of the defense and then above it. All alone, Shedrick for the flush. The announcers and then the producer and director, and they're going, who is Mike Roy? I've never heard of that guy. Why is he in the notes? Turn around by Weaver, and he's got his second consecutive make, and he's going to the line as well. Yeah, especially on the defensive end, on the glass, when there's a loose ball, sort of be the man on a team. Doesn't Furphy have the feel of a guy who could be a lead dog next year? No question. Yeah. Harris has had a great game. Oh. <laughs> and it gets even a little bit better. Changing of speeds thing. Just a little stop, go move. And I, I think Texas was looking for him to pass that back out. I don't think they thought he was going to shoot that. He's got 12 points, six assists. Harris again finds Dickinson wide open Adams and forget about it. Seven they have made fewer threes than any team of the Big 12 but they've been so so good on twos tonight you don't even think about it and there's there's Harris doing special things again. And so, yeah if you think you want to beat yourself up over it it's not going to do you any good. And the next one won't be easy they're on the road again. Oh. My oh my when it's your day it's your day. McDowell had five points. Jackson four assists. Stolen away. The final seconds ticking away. And it's an impressive victory for the Jayhawks here at the Fog.